Have you been struggling to get optimized and compact UV layouts in Maya? Has the Unfold tool left you with a bunch of curved or warped UV shells that are taking way too much space in your zero to one? What if I told you there's one tool that can dramatically help those UVs get perfectly straight and take your UV layouts in Maya to a whole new level? Today, we are talking about Maya's Strain UV tool. What's going on you 3D modeling beasts? This is JL Musi and thank you so much for joining me. Today we are talking about the Strain UV Shell tool. Now before I start the video, I did, uh, I got a little confession, I did throw the uh, Strain UV tool uh, under the bus a little bit. Uh, partly because I didn't know how to use it properly. Um, it's still not a uh, one size fits all solution, meaning that there are a lot of cases where the Strain UV uh, tool, no matter how much you finagle it, is just not gonna work. And you will still need just to unfold your UVs, but uh, with certain types of shells, it could definitely make a big difference. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And uh, this is pretty much just a straight up uh, unfolded uh, mesh. Uh, if I go here and I shift right click and I hit unfold, you see that it doesn't change, right? Uh, so out the box, the strain uh, UV tool um, will not work on certain shells, right? So um, trust me, I've tried it on pretty much every shell and I got to work on half of this UV layout. So let's go ahead and begin. All right, so I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna uh, shrink this guy down here and I'll enable my checkerboard pattern. And to do so, uh, there's this little window here right here. So we're going to enable our checkerboard pattern uh, and then it looks like I have a uh, use default material and this is what we got. So this is not bad. Um, you really don't see uh, a lot of distortion here. So as far as distortion, the unfold tool is going to do what it's supposed to do unfold. You probably won't get, if you have enough cut lines, you probably won't get a lot of distortion with the unfold tool. Um, but where it lacks is that obviously as far as a UV shell optimization, um, you know, you're going to get a lot of these, um, you know, crooked uh, UV shells that are going to take up a lot of room versus if they were straight. One little asterisk here is that it's not going to work on every shell. Uh, it typically tends to work better on, uh, you know, things like this where it strips. So if I go here, you see that this is a nice strip. But kind of on this main body here, I wouldn't even run it because it's just not going to work. So you got to kind of pick and choose your battles with the Strain UV tool, all right? The first thing that I want to do is just see what the tool gives me, right? So this is actually pretty straight. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, go to UV, double click this guy here. And uh, what we can do is there's two ways to access the tool. One, it's via here under uh, Tools. And if we go to the show um, UV uh, toolkit, we'll see it under unfold, right? So under unfold, uh, we can go ahead and do strain UVs. And there we go. So this gave us a pretty good, um, easy result, right? But trust me, it's not gonna be always this easy, okay? So if we look and we enable our checkerboard again, now we see that this is pretty straight, right? So if we're like in a, a texturing package, whether it's Substance, Photoshop, right? If we draw a straight line, it's gonna go ahead and just basically wrap this without having to go and actually do it within the viewport. All right, so let's look at maybe these smaller strips here. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click this guy here. And these belong to the top here. So uh, what I can do is run the tool again and you see what happens this time. So now there's a second way of accessing the uh, tool um, versus the toolkit. You can do shift and right click and then you can go to straighten and then we can do straighten UVs and there we go. This is what happens, right? So um, this happens a lot. This is kind of what discouraged me from using the tool in the first place because I would just randomly select these UV shells, uh, do a shift and right click strain, strain UVs, and you kind of get these weird results. 
And that's probably what I'm assuming happens to a lot of people. So the trick to getting the strain UV shell tool to work in some instances is to actually spoon feed it as much as humanly possible and straighten the UV shells before you actually run the tool itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my UVs here, right? I'm gonna enable the rotate tool. I'm gonna to hit D to edit the pivot, move it right about here where the curvature starts, go back to the rotate tool and then just start straining it out, right? So I'm gonna strain this guy out. I'm gonna deselect these guys here. I'm gonna hit D again, move it right about here. I'm gonna go ahead and enable the rotate tool again and then I'll go ahead and rotate and then uh, I'll go ahead and move it as well, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys here, activate the rotate tool again, D to move the pivot, move the pivot here, enable the tool again, and then now we can rotate this, right? So it's not perfect, but this is gonna work. So we're straight here. Now we gotta do this bottom part. So same thing as before, we'll select these guys here, we'll hold down D, Hit E here to rotate, rotate this guy over, move it, and then we can go ahead and move it here. So now this is a lot better than it was before. Obviously, this is gonna have a lot of stretching here, right, in our um, 3D viewport. And now we're gonna go ahead and run the tool and get a perfectly straight shell. So I'm gonna double click this to get the um, shell selected. Shift right click, straighten, straighten UV tool. And there it is. So sometimes uh, it could be a bit rebellious. Um, so like right here, you see kind of refuse. So what we can do is just kind of move this guy over like this, double click this, and then we'll run the tool again. And there we go, all right? So now if we look at the shell and uh, we see it in 3D space, so you could definitely see how this actually lends itself better to texture, right? Now we, we see that we have uh, this shell here, right? This is the one that's perfectly straight. And this is the one that's still currently. All right, so let's go ahead and do uh, another shell here towards the bottom. Uh, you see that this is pretty much just this strip here. So now we can go to the UVs, double click, and then try the tool again, strain UVs and we get kind of a wonky result, right? So what we could do here is let's move it off to the side and do a little bit more uh, work to it before we run the tool. Now here, I'm gonna show you a slightly different method. Uh, so here I'll go and select this edge, shift right click, I'll go ahead and go to cut. And now that these guys are cut, what we can do is double click this shell here. And then we can go ahead and uh, select about this edge here in the middle, shift right click we can do straighten shell. So that's gonna straighten it. We'll double click this guy here as well. Shift right click, straighten shell. And now we'll go ahead and select both of these guys. Shift right click and straighten UVs. And it did a better job, right? So now what we could do from here is uh, select this uh, edge here and then shift right click mo mo m m m m <laughs> move and sew, right? Helps if I could actually speak while I'm doing tutorials, but so now I can go ahead and double click it again, shift, right click, and then we can do straighten and then straighten UVs. And there we go. And if we take a look at the actual shell, which is this guy here, you see that it's a lot better off. Right? So what I'm gonna do here is if, if we take this guy that's already straight, and we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. And then with this guy here, we'll just run that unfold, right? So we, we take this guy that was straight and we go ahead and run it unfold. You'll see that um, this guy's gonna be a lot harder to place, right? And it's gonna take uh, more space in your UV layout, right? And you're gonna have more issues versus something like this, where you could just take this guy here and just place it really close and it's just gonna fit a lot better. Uh, optimize your UV um, spacing and also make your texturing a lot easier. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. Uh, I really appreciate your time. 
and hopefully you can go ahead and incorporate the strain UV tool within Maya to improve your UV layouts and also your texture. So please remember to comment on this video, like, and subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't done so already. That's all the time that I have for you folks. I will catch you next time.